We're live on the Joy News Channel, and it's time for us to get interactive here on the Joy News Channel. We're live digital address GA0992539 in Kokomimli Accra on DSTV channel 421 and Go TV channel 144. The show is Joy News Interactive, and our social media handles for Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram is Joy News on TV. So we kick start our conversation about the National Communications Authority, which has shut down Radio Gold 90.5 FM and Radio XYZ 93.1 FM, both based in Accra on Thursday. Officials of the NTA stormed the premises of the stations with armed security personnel while they were on air and ordered their immediate closure. Social media users have been reacting to this, and let's read some of the comments that have come through on our social media handles. And we have Ya, who says the NTA claims the closure of radio stations is an ongoing exercise which happened. So I've started with Radio Gold and XYZ, and that other stations will follow. Maybe Nana and Ken will be invited after Ofusu Ampofo. Who knows? Let's keep our fingers crossed. Interesting times indeed. And Jake Atu Wilson says, CID invites Ofosu Ampofo, NTA close, closes down Radio Gold and XYZ. You may have the law in hands, but sometimes you have to consider the timing before the execution. Aaron tweets, let's believe the shutdown of Radio Gold and XYZ is a coincidence. In a case where the renewal document was rejected by the NTA as reported, shadows moving all over to sabotage things. And Morris comments, um, opposition politicians, NDC and MPP, are the reason Ghana is not developing, sabotaging, backbiting, and always doing stuff that will undermine the integrity and efficiency of the ruling party, just for their selfish political interest. One party system like Singapore, China, etc., is what we need. Felix Motte comments, have they committed treason to warrant such an action? Oh, Ghana, power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. Lord Listowell comments, um, God is in control, we believe that. And Perry Bryan says, but have they renewed their alliances? He's asking, have they renewed their alliances? Prince Ajiman says, this must have been done long ago. I congratulate the NTA boss and his team for that brilliant work done. Yes, Ghana is working again. And Forever says, I want to be convinced that the series of closures of media houses that started with XYZ and Radio Gold are a mere coincidence. On a Ghana we day. Well, the University of Ghana is in the news again, this time for a different reason. There's cause for worry, especially for students who reside in the halls now known as diaspora. The students are opposing the possible privatization of our halls. The halls Hila Liman, Alexander Edun Kwapong, Elizabeth Francis Say, and Jane Aka Nelson Hall. The management has failed to repay a 403 million Ghana City loan contracted in 2008 for the construction of these halls. This is the reason for the possible privatization of the halls. Many students on campus are protesting this. And let's listen to what the SRC president had to say about it. We had a word from former President Excellency John Evans Fifi at Tamils May, so rest in peace who said that um, government was going to meet um, investing management halfway in solving these issues. So what we are doing is we are calling on government to play the mid- Well, let's hop on to Facebook and find out what people had to say about this as well. And Kofi Crunchy says, this is just the beginning of matters like this at Legon, the UG Medical Hospital, 
where a huge sum of loan was taken and a whole school used as a guarantee by the former government. This hospital has been ineffective in terms of its operation. A time will come when the whole school will be sold to defray debts if things are not put in place. And Johnson Asiedu Apia says, another wahala is yet to happen. KNUSD to UEW, gradually to Legon. UCC must day on guard too. And Godfred Quesio says, says, oh my God, they should privatize Ghana too. Lazy approach to solving problems. They will hide behind people and amass national assets and resources for themselves and their generation in the name of privatization. Hashtag selfishness. And Nunana comments upon all the money they took from us. As of 2011, they were charging each person 700 Ghana CD plus. Ghana, dear, dabi, dabi, chop, chop, nkwa. And Frederick Eshan comments, how much of the loan have they paid since 2008? And how much is left? How did they plan to repay the loan? And for how long? How did they plan to repay the loan? And for how long? Um, when they signed the agreement, for Christ's sake, are those people not supposed to be professors and learned people? And Joshua Bochi comments, so what have they been doing with the high hostel fees we have been paying since the hostels started operating? Charles Kumsin says, how can a public university privatize a hostel on campus? It's the administration who probably needs to intensify the discipline, disciplinary level if from that angle, but not to change hands of ownership. Isn't the same human beings who, who manage the facility? It's unfortunate. And Moses Atubra comment similar thing to happen to our national assets when we are not able to pay for the loans we are taking and giving our natural res our natural resources for free as zambia and other countries what they are suffering for taking cheap loans and ahmed ahmed suleiman says students pay for accommodation in this halls so what happens to those monies? Hey, Ghana, so when? And Kube Daniel says, Ghana, the land of possibilities. When will state-owned properties be well managed without being privatized? Horace Odom Mensan says, Lecturers mismanaging common student hostel, yet these old lecturers will come on radio and TV to accuse governments of corruption. They talk as if they have solutions to Ghana's problems. Well, it's time for us to take a short breather, and when we are back, we'll talk about Mother's Day. still watching Joy News Interactive with me, Selina Mampo, and now it's time for us to talk about Mother's Day. Mother's Day is a celebration honoring mothers and celebrating motherhood, maternal bonds, and the influence of mothers in society. No, today isn't Mother's Day, but the special day is just around the corner. That's on Sunday. The day is such an important day to all of us because we all know we can never say thank you enough to the women who gave us the gifts of life ahead of the day which falls on sunday we want to know what are some of the best advices mama has ever asked you and i have a with me in studio she's going to tell me a bit about what best advice your mom gave you when you were growing up well you know my mom always said to me that as a woman you have to bring something more than the way that you look mm -hmm. and so she pushed pushed me to be serious with school to have a brain to have my own thoughts to be independent and 
And so that's what I've lived by. I come with more than just the way I look. I come with brains. I come with my own thoughts, my and independence. Money. Of course, I mean, when it translates into money, doesn't it? And so that, that was the best advice that she gave. But you're a mom now. So I what, am. What advice do you give to your kids? Well, well, my kids are pretty young, 10 and 7. But we have a mantra in the house. And so we say we can do hard things. And so when they come and they say, Mommy, my homework is too hard. I ask them, but what do we say in this house? We can do hard things. Oh, that's so good. that's what I'm teaching them. I also teach them to believe in themselves. Mm -hmm. So our second mantra is, I believe in myself. So when I ask my little boy to do something and he's a little bit nervous, he'll say, Kelly, I believe in you. And then he'll <laughs> find the courage to do it. Because I want them to know that once you believe in yourself and you can accept that you do hard things, mm -hmm. the world is your oyster, really. Okay. Yes. You know, Sunday is Mother's Day. Yes. What are you doing with your mom? Well, How of you course, I'm How taking her to the Joy FM Mother's Day lunch. What else will we do? So you know that on Sunday, Joy FM is having lunch for mothers at the Labadi okay, Beach Hotel. Great. And so we'll be there from the afternoon. So come with your mom. Um, if you're listening to us, come and join us with your mom. We'll have food. We'll have music. We have giveaways. We have super exciting giveaways. All your favorite Joy FM personalities How, will be there with our mothers. Well, if you're coming, if you're just bringing just your mom mm -hmm. um, it's 450 so that's for a family of two it's 650 for a family of three 850 for a family of four and 1050 for a family of five if you're not around but you just want to send your mother then it's 250 CDs and okay. if you get in touch with us and you're just sending your mother then we'll keep her company and let you know how much you love her okay before we wrap up on the conversation let me just find out from you why is Mother's Day such a Big deal. Are you kidding me? Because mothers but are why awesome. why don't we do the same for fathers? Well, I think that sometimes fathers are not celebrated as much because they're not as hands-on. But today, what we did on the morning show was that we actually celebrated fathers who act the role of mothers, mothers. so single parents. But moms are awesome. If you know what it's like to carry a baby in your stomach for nine months, how your body changes, then you breastfeed for years, and then, you know, you're waking up in the middle of the night. There was a meme that I saw that was really funny, Selena. And <laughs> this woman, this woman, said her children asked her what does it feel like to be a mom and okay. she said I'll show you so she woke her daughter up at 2 a.m. in the morning to tell her my socks came off and that's <laughs> what it's like to be a mom having kids waking you up in the middle of the night my son used to do that mommy my back is itching at 2 a.m. and I would spend like 15 minutes scratching it while he fell, mommy, fell asleep. Mommy my back is itching. How can you not celebrate the women who love us <laughs> anyway, like that? Anyway that's yes. very interesting. Let's hop onto Facebook to find out what people had to say about the best advices their parents ever gave them. Their mom sorry. And Abu Mumuni says, my mother always says I should respect people's views and do not judge them by physical means. And also stand for the truth no matter the circumstances. Mommy, I am grateful to you. And Nuwakpo says, problems do not find people. People find problems for themselves. Stay away from problems. That's the advice his mom gave to him. Moses Atibila says, my mom indeed has been very inspirational and she makes sure I always bring the best from what I do. She has played a lot in bringing me to this far. In fact, God bless her and she has, and all responsible mothers around the globe. We are proud of them. And Fayada Saeed says she's the most bravest, loving, and understanding. Allah bless you, Mama Sof. And Asamwa Kweku says, my mother is my sister, brother, friend, uncle, and wife. Very specially made for me. Adrasafa Papavi says, educate yourself, build a strong Christian life, work hard and earn your own money and a good husband will be bonus. God will give to you. That's the advice her mom gave to her. And Bades Legacy comments, you should not be greedy and you have to be truthful. Don't take what doesn't belong to you and fight for your own. Anas says, my mom will say, we hold our nose to collect an old woman's feces. This is to tell you that no matter what you are going through, don't complain, just endure, because no condition is permanent. Mm -hmm. 
or anyway you've seen a number of comments coming in what do you make of them i mean it's very interesting everybody's experience of their mother is different mm -hmm. so some have mothers that are completely realist and um, some have mothers that are more of dreamers and so you find that the kind of advice that comes through is always different yeah. but it's important to note that there's nobody that influences our lives so much um, like our mothers their presence or their absence mm. you know influences a lot Indeed. and so mother's day is, is really awesome and thank you for sending in your comments and um, uh, but I have a question for you, Selena. What's the best advice your mother gave you? The best advice my mom has given me, find your own. Like, make sure you have something to fall back on. Awesome. Yeah, so we're finding advice. our own in life. Finding my own. Yes. Yeah. Thank you very much, anyone, for You're that welcome. interesting conversation on Mother's Day. It's time for us to do most watched videos. And our first most watched video is a video that had 57,000 views, 40. 433 reactions, 99 comments, and 101 share. There's a report filed by Nancy MFA Dradosi on how the police and national security operatives begin joint patrols on the University of Ghana campus. I'm sorry. And our second most watched video is the video of angry residents of Amasaman brutally assaulting a police officer identified as Sergeant Mahanadi. The video had 54,000 views, 457 reactions, 464 comments, and 197 shares. Let's take a look at it. We'll bring you that video shortly, but let's do our third most watched video of the week. It's had 45,000 views, 518 reactions, 74 comments, and 47 shares. It is the video of Shatawale, who's saying if he had the opportunity, he would marry Wendy Shea today. Let's take a look at it. Uh, Wendy Shea, <laughs> I like the way he acts, you know. Mm. Oh, I wanted to shut a mission here yeah, mm. to be like a girl like that for me. Hey. Yeah? yeah How many she's people? the type of girl that when I get, I'll marry her today, you know. Hey. Yeah, because, you know, <laughs> I think she understands what she's doing. Like, like, yeah, she's following rules. Mm. She's mm. obeying, you know. I remember, you know, the, the manager telling me, shut up. Girl, with the way I'm not doing that, you know. Or person on new industry, like you mm. know, and I like girl, girls with that mentality that you don't have to sleep with the man before you get there. Mm. Stay on one DJ. I, that's what I'm saying. I like Wendy Shea mm. because I. And if you get her, you marry her marry today. Her. ASAP. So <laughs> Shatawale is saying he wants to marry Wendy Shea. Mm. Oh no, if she if she's not dating, yes. but if she's even dating, ah, yeah. 